everyone, it's me, Vintage Gaudi. Welcome back to another video about Polly Pocket. Voila! This is the Polly Pocket that I'm talking about in this video. Can you guess which Polly Pocket compact this is? It's really big, as big as my hands are, and it has a handle on. So, well, I'll tell you after the intro. It is the 1989 Disco Cassette Playset Compact. It's a little bit scratched on the surface, so it's very old of course and very used, but it works. So this is the cool thing about this compact. Um, on the back side you can see also the Bluebird Toys logo and 1989. Here is the speaker um, and here are the buttons for the cassette. Play and stop and this I don't know what this button means but I use only the play and the stop so <laughs> that is enough for me. And of course in the front the beautiful Polly Pocket shining logo in gold. And this handle is also very, very cool because you can take the, the disco cassette playset with you everywhere you want. You can go to a picnic and take it with you and listen to your favorite story on the cassette. And here is also the volume for the cassettes and here you can he hear or listen to the, to the story with the headphone. Or the headset, sorry, headset. <laughs> so that is on the outside of this compact, so let's have a look in the inside. What is expecting me on the inside of this compact? So, it's too big for my camera, I have to show it a little bit like this. Um, in the front part or in the upper part of this compact we do have um, a house a um, big house I have to say on the upper level there are the um, sleeping rooms and the beds and also I think the parents bed maybe and the telephone a uh, telephone a television <laughs> of course so it's here the sleeping bedroom area then you go down the stairs and you are in the fun part area, I would like to say. It's um, all about playing together, music and some ping pong, ping pong, <laughs> no, it's right. A ping pong table, um, here in the back is a dart table and here is a guitar, so you can play some guitar and make music, here is also a piano and in the background this this I can can see cannot see the the stickers some pictures maybe and we've got here the drums the drum set so here is really a music party going on and behind the stairs are some notes on the wall so this is very very cool um, on this part you can play together ping pong and on this part you can play together music. So then again you go down the stairs and you are in the kitchen area. Here is a really big kitchen area, I think it's an oven or something like that. A table so you can eat and here is, oh this is very very cool, this is a flipper. <laughs> that is a flipper, so cool. Um, flipper in the space, <laughs> so, so cool. And here we've got the um, cashier with some, here in the background you've got the um, ketchup and the mayo, I don't know the right name, if, is it also called mayo, mayonnaise in, in uh, English? Um, and this one will be for the soft drinks, I think, it's a fridge and also a cup here in the front, <laughs> so here are the drinking areas where you can refill your cups <laughs> uh, 
and I saw here in behind this table is also the menu but I can't read it because it's not written anything it's only some lines but it looks very very cool so I think it's in this house like a canteen or something like that like a restaurant so probably it's not a house in in say it's probably a hotel or something so that will be also very cool and once again here is the door open you go down the stairs and then you are in some shower area pool area sauna area I think this one is a sauna part maybe and then you've got here some kind of vanity and some showers and also the spins here the, the um, where you can put your clothes in it um, in German we, we, we say them spint but I don't know the right word in English but showers and so on so here is yes the maybe sauna area and then you, you go to the sauna and then you shower yourself dress yourself then you go up eat something and then you go up again and have a good time with your friends playing some music and then when you are tired you go up on the upper upper level <laughs> and then you are in the sleeping area of this hotel something like that and on the lower part here we do have a dance floor this one here is a dance floor and here we've got a bowling area and some okay real fun part of this we've got here um, some supplies from the gym so we've got here a trampoline um, this thing where you can jump up and then you go on the trampolines I don't know this one in in German it's um, a book <laughs> you run here jump on this platform here then you jump on this bigger part and from this part you can do a salto and land on the trampoline <laughs> so this is a I think this should be in a in a school area so yes because why should you have these things on a dance floor so I think this is a school party or something uh, similar and here we do have the disco part so this is the the disco part the speakers and here where the DJ is making some music we've got even the um, headsets from the DJ here so everything is ready for the party um, of course it's called the disco cassette playset so it has to do something with disco and I think it's maybe a school disco did you have as a kid also some school discos at your school? I remember that we had um, once in a year every time when the um, summer holidays are starting the last day of school we had some kind of disco some kind of party well of course we were little so the party was not very long in the evening but <laughs> it was so fun and um, we organized everything we've got also in the in the um, playground of the um, gym at our school we organized <laughs> a dance floor some music and some things we can play so that was a very very cool um, part even the best part of the year when the school is ending and you got some holidays and some vacations and then you can do a party so that was very very cool <laughs> um, I think here is a kind of aerobic thing so you can do the step up step up step. Um, here's also a radio and the bottle drinking bottle so <laughs> very very cool this is really a cool set here and um, I'm very very happy that this is now in my collection so this platform you can also lift up because somewhere we have to do our cassette so how should we listen to a cassette when we do not have a place to put our cassette that makes really really sense so well here is the platform you can lift the platform up 
and now you have here the place for your cassettes. Unfortunately, I do not have the Polly Pocket cassette. I know that there should be somewhere a cassette with uh, history about Polly and uh, adventure that Polly has made with her friends, but unfortunately that is so 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 rare and unfortunately I do not have it in my collection. So well, um, to show you how it works I use another cassette. So we're taking an also very vintage cassette. I'm looking or I'm listening to a Winnie Pooh cassette. I had this at a, as a child also, so I want to listen to the Winnie Pooh cassette. So let's try and hope for the best that it works. Place your cassette in the space for it and then you press here on the side play. And now we are waiting if something happens. Can you listen to it? <laughs> so cool! Well, it definitely works. The quality of this cassette um, playset is not the very best, but hey, it works and it is so, so nostalgic because this um, not perfect tone of this cassette makes it very, very cool. Um, I like that it's not so clear everything because it uh, has some um, character. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, yes, that is what it is on this disco cassette playset, so it definitely works and you have here the opportunity to store another cassette so you have enough to listen to your favorite stories. And now I'm showing you the dolls that belongs to this compact. There are six dolls. One of these dolls is she. She is Mitch. Maybe you noticed her from other compacts. She is also in very, very often compacts. Um, but she belongs in this case also to the disco cassette playset. So this is Mitch. Next one is this guy here, this boy. It's Wee Willy. If I spelled it correctly. Yes, Wee Willy. <laughs> so here's a boy that belongs to this compact. Let me put him here. Next one we do have this doll. She is Tiny Tina. She's also very often in... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> She's also very often in other compacts. So this is Tiny Tina, also a member of the disco cassette playset. Let me put her here. <laughs> so next one is this character. She is Buttons. She also has an own compact, the um, veterinary compact. So she also belongs in that compact, but is a friend of Polly and of course she is also in the disco cassette playset. So welcome in the group, Buttons. And the last character that I have is this one here. This is also a boy and his name is Didi. So welcome also in the group, Didi. And now when you count it correctly, these are only five dolls. Yes, there is a sixth doll and of course that is Miss Polly. But unfortunately I have her not. I do not have the original Polly Pocket that belongs, or the original Polly doll that belongs to this compact. It's so so sad. Maybe you can see her. That is Polly. So she has a pink dress, pink shoes, a white tie here and a red headband. So <laughs> unfortunately she's not in my collection, but I hope one day that I find her so that this 
beautiful compact is complete. Now this was the presentation of my super cool disco cassette playset. What do you think about this compact including cassette playset? Thank you very very much for listening and watching my video. Click the subscribe button and we will see us in the next video with Vintage Gaudi. Bye!